I suppose you did, Headrammer. I suppose you did time travel. We must go back. Back two minutes into the past. That was a Dorado ban from Team C, by the way. Junkertown ban? Everybody's banning Junkertown. This is, Dorado and Junkertown are like the most common bans. It's every time. Oh, Fluffy, remove this question mark. And they're like, no, 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 no. We're going to remove this polarizing map from you. There we go. And that leaves us with the Paul Kings Runa Sapi. Black screen. And something for escort. There you go. New Junk City and Shabali Monastery. To round it out. Uh, let's see. What was that hybrid van? Uh, the hybrid band? Uh, it was Paradise. So was the hybrid band that I missed earlier. So in case you were wondering. Boom. That's how the band shook up. Uh, I know I did that a little backwards. I should probably show you the bands first and then, like, go to this and show you the map order. I'll get it right one of these times. Giga Chad Mirror. Rinko says, grow a beard. I've got one, my friend. I've got one. I have more one than Astro. All right, all right. Enough getting distracted by the banner. Uh, let's look. Oops, I already had that on. I don't need to turn health dollars. I was already on top of things. Ooh, okay. We're getting a bit of a dive composition with Tracer Echo uh, versus a far of Wall. High ground rotation along the outside. And just a little early poke damage here from Chime manually on the Ash. He has to be really careful jumping up like that. One good headshot could open the door for an early pick. But surprisingly enough, it's Painkiller moving in to try to get point presence first. As you can expect, Astro is not going to let that stay. But it is a dive up into the high ground. Manually down low gets picked off. Chased over the ceiling. Peace gives pursuit to Chime. Both DPS are down. From Fluffy Amers. This is first control going to him, but a handful of opening picks going away of Team Z. Pain killer receives a Suzu to fend off death from Astro, punching him in the back. Pops up top to get some aim, moves back down. Phase two of this fight. And to clean up what remains of Fluffy Amers flip this point. Gizgab, thank you for being here. I love both these teams, too. <laughs> Peace with our first ultimate all line here in the lobby of the series. Chime down low, providing a little flight pressure while the rest of Fluffy Amers moon in from the high ground. Painkiller's opts to try to go inside. It was to go after the Mega, but it is a death sentence in there. In lieu of that, Peace will drop a uh, Annihilation duplicate. Uh, a couple of ults all in one. Basically, they drop death. They just unleash death on everybody on the other side of that. Flash Mob! Appreciate you being here. Manager Flash Mob in the chat. Thank you, thank you so much for all your insight on these squats. Helps a lot. Second fight win in a row here for Team Z. Initiation ult in form of an amplification matrix online. Ready to go. Sound barrier as well. About 15% ahead of Len on the other side. A little mono mono with the tanks. Painkiller backing away from that pretty quickly as the air matrix is thrown down a good disengage here from the rest of Team Z. They're going to counter with the Katuna rush on the objective. And Astro finds himself absolutely overwhelmed. Uh, double cooldowns on a Diva's nasty, nasty business. And Astro just got the business end of it. This is another fight winning time running out here for Fluffy Amers. Team that uh, I said should be the favorites here in this matchup, but... This has been clean so far. That percentage was just early gain. Wasn't even off of a fight when every single team fight has gone in Team Z's favor. Now Fluffy Amers are splitting up, trying to draw attention to the other side, give Chime a chance to initiate overtime, and they succeed in doing so, but have to sacrifice themselves in the process. Moving on to the point, Astro does have an Annihilation. We'll just go ahead and throw it down, despite a sound barrier coming in from the other side. Tries to give chase to a couple of squishies, but losing reinforcements and finds themselves standing Right next to a Diva Bomb, holding hands with a self-destruct. This is going to be essentially a 100 to 0. For all intents and purposes, a 100 to 0 for Team Z to open up this series. Okay. 
Uh, as expected for Sanctum, uh, both teams swapping to a Sigma. Ah, interesting. Your uh, Excal may be swapping to an Echo here. I mean, your Tracer would... Your, your Ash isn't going to do the the Symmetra rollout, right? So I anticipate X, Excal will actually be moving over to uh, an Echo Tracer. Oh, no. Okay. They are just going to roll with Excal kind of a step behind here. Is that the, is that the thing? Is that the new thing? All right. I feel like you're going to give a little extra poke pressure to the opposite side as Excal is just now getting to this fight. It's not too big of a difference maker, I suppose. Very slow start on Sanctum. Ooh, good shot from manually. Rotation all the way to the outside. Here from Fluffy Aimers as they move in and Grapes is able to find Lin on the approach. I am clearly watching the wrong hero. Time moves on to the point to get cap for uh, get cap of the objective. Nice early fight. Good off angle on the first team fight win. The first real team fight win. Here for Fluffy Aimers. A little bit of a split approach. A 2-3 approach from Team Z. Let's get, come on, let's go. Ah! Sorry, cameras. Sorry, friends. That's a 2v1 there. Chive Chive's got a recall out. Oh, bait and ride in. Manually's able to follow up with a beautiful kill. Astro and Chime double down on Painkiller. And another team fight win here for Fluffy Aimers. I did not mean to double tap that button. Was there an Ajax? Oh, if there was an Ajax in that first map, I'm sorry, I missed it. All right, painkiller to the rest. Oh, moving on the left-hand side immediately. Didn't even get to swap to a time. Uh, as the accretion lands, manually is down. And we're talking field and amplification matrix used, but not to great effect. As Astro and Rico have to drop back down, uh, kind of out to coast. Not able to really get any value out of that amplification matrix. Painkiller has them pinned while Peace has picked up a kill on the outside. Here comes Manually back into this fight. Close to a bob, might be able to bail him out. Rinko goes down though. Astro lucky to get out of this alive. And it's just gonna be a disengage here from Fluffy Aimers. All right, Fluffy is rotating around, putting early backline pressure. Just the Lucio Tracer kind of moving in. I think trying to squeeze Hanbei a little bit. That is going to be a bot from Team Z out first. Let's cut over here to the other side. Nico is trying to keep everybody alive. Astro does have a gravitic clutch ready to go, but there is one available on the other side. You could beat Lin to this sound barrier if Astro, I don't know if they've made that read or they're going to get aggressive enough. Yeah, they're going to go and throw it out. Lin's still 3% away, able to duck around the rock. Ambe's immortality field is used in the process. No sound barriers have been thrown out. Limited space bot here from Fluffy Aimers as well as control the point. They're going to use a bob to try to continue with that. Sound barrier will keep Manuel alive through the gravitic flux of Painkiller. And Painkiller just absolutely squeezed down on. That was a vice grip onto the Sigma of Team Z. 85% on the board. We're going to start to hear the beat. Chime try and prevent touch from the outside. Keeping Peace occupied. Peace is going to duck on in. Chase being given. 93 on the board. Let's cut into Lin. Lin's going to be the only hope of the touch. Lin is out here. Nope. Lin goes down. There was no touch on that point. Broader from Team Z come through the follow. Also, Brian Stratton. It's an honor to have you here. Thank you for the follow. Well, this has pretty much been 100 to zeros both ways. A dominant performance uh, on the opening map. Five, four, three, which was a, a Diva Ram mirror. Uh, but then when we got into the Sigma mirror, that was all fluffy gamers. Okay, so this time they used the Tracer to be the Symmetra roller. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's just the, the slower rollout that is that is Sanctum. It's just 
Uh, I don't know why I'm just now noticing that, that little thing, but yeah, that makes sense. All right. Astro, uh, very much in a strong pick here with the Winston. One of the more heroes, like, this is one of the heroes that comes to mind when I think of Astro next. Quick dive in, trying to deny heals to the front line while the rest of the damage dealers all put their reticles on Painkiller. Will grant first control just from that pressure. No kills as of yet from either side, but Cap can be building for fluffy aimers through this. Painkiller pops to the nemesis. Thought about giving chase. Rubble mainly is, yeah, stick it out a little too far forward there on the outside. Does get punished, but Chime's able to come up with one. There goes Grapes, able to finish off pace and maintain control here for fluffy aimers. Riding that momentum they br uh, brought in from Sanctum. No ult online. Gonna be uh, neutral for the start of this, but I mean, I'm looking at grapes. Uh, could have an early sub You gotta think. You gotta know you're you're at least 20, percent if not 30, percent ahead. Early aggression coming out here from Astro just to hold everybody up top. And Astro goes down low to grab a mega here while Excal. Uh, excuse me, that was manually that I was seeing put shots down. Finally, the drop down with the amplification matrix. And now is what I needed to go to Excal's point of view. Uh, we'll switch to Lucio for a moment, I suppose. Painkiller ends up getting the final blow there, but two go the other way. And it's a 3v4. Oh, his lid just gets popped out of the sky. Grapes coming in with the flank. Shooting him in the back of the head of the Cheerios. I guess if you had been quicker, that would have been breakfast, Lin. But fortunately for you, you were not. Painkiller's able to find one, and this is just a messy, messy fight. Peace is still alive here. Is there anybody else? Astrodex is returning with Renko, and it's going to be a 2v2. Here for control. No, a 2v3, but there's a Katsune rush. Bob uh, is just going to kind of keep Astro at bay here. Astro goes diving away into the back. Popping a primal rage. Open to find Excal. But, oh, that's a lot of reinforcements. Astro <laughs> lucky to find their way back to the mega. Opportunity here for Team Z to move on to this objective. With 95%, they had to make a move. Feels like this one has gone real quick. And there's a big Omnic Butler on the point. Mr. Butler keeping Painkiller with arms up. Not able to find any punches out of that. Sound barrier, aggressive move here. Countered from Lin on the other side. Painkiller able to punch through Chime. Wrestling control of the objective away from Fluffy Aimers. Ooh, rips Astro out of the sky with that ravenous vortex. And is going to pop the Annihilation here on this point. Has a couple of members to try to chew through. Ambe is down, so there is no real sustain for Team Z on this point. They need to finish this fight quickly. P a kill from Peace will do good in that. Moving in that direction. It looks like a moment to breathe from both of our teams, but Astro quickly returning with Chad. And the aggression continues here for Fluffy Aimer. Uh, Grapes is caught down in a corner. Chime cut down on the back end. Pursuit given on the Astro on the high ground. Swift step in from Rinko. You gonna force chime or force peace back? Yes. And I feel like this is the first time that either team has had to breathe here in a hot minute. The Turu, thank you for the follow. Appreciate the support. Leak up top, pulse bomb land, swift step out of the way there from Rinko. You join Chime over here. Nope, went back and uh, actually went out manually there. Pick it up. Manually with an opportunity here for an early pick from this high ground positioning. There's a cast on the other side. Really nothing to counter manually up here. That's just going to go in deep with the continuing rush to their back, but immediately gets just deleted. No chance to get up towards that primal rage. Pain killer surges forward here, looking for an exit pick on whoever. I think that was manually up on that high ground. 85% counting on the other side. This one's going down to the wire. Final fight here for map one. Yeah. Once again, same setup. Astro over the top. I'm going in manually shooting from the high ground. Everybody from Team Z hiding in the back. Bob goes Zed. Gonna be Excal dropping. Uh, well, never mind. What was that? Primal. Primal set a couple off the side. I think a recall came out or a swift step onto the objective. Either way, Chime cuts him down when it's all said and done. And the Primal gets the work done in the end. Final fight goes to Fluffy Amers. 
They bring this one back in the final moment after giving up 99%. Almost gave up the comeback the, uh, the, the comeback the other direction. That one's scary. Uh, that's a fun dupe. Well done. Fluffy Hammers, man. I mean, we just really went down to final fight. That one went down to the absolute last. 99-99 round three. Gotta love it. It's what I would expect. It's what I was expecting from these two squads. Let's take a look at our, our scoreboard and our stats here from map one. Um, and as you would expect, pretty darn even. Uh, if you're just not joining us, Team Z pretty much 100 to 0 on Village. Fluffy Aimers pretty much 100 to 0 on Sanctum. Actually, do uh, 100 to 0 on Sanctum. And then round three on, on Shrine, it is down to 99 final fight. Fluffy Aimers build up 99%. Then Team Z build up 99%. Fluffy Aimers take the final fight. So, I mean, as, as you would expect, um, stats are very, very close. You can see Xcal with a ton of damage. Uh, they're in the flex role, flex DPS role. Uh, Astro and Painkiller, very, very similar. About 300 damage separating the two tanks. One death separating the two tanks as well. Painkiller did get involved in a lot more inlets. So, there is that. Ah, let's see, look at that. If I go to the bottom and click down at the bottom of Windows, I don't lose the screen for y'all. Interesting. But if I Alt-Tab, it breaks it. Hmm, okay, good to know. Good to know. So I can leave stats up, and y'all can y'all can enjoy those, because that's probably more interesting to look at than my ugly mug. Well, I get King's Row loaded up here for map number two. Uh, yeah, so got a side swap. Boom, boom. Oh, smart. I take note of that beforehand. Actually, no, I couldn't because I don't see whoever clicks who starts, like, uh, or, or who gets first, uh, who gets sides. I don't see the result. The screen just moves forward. So, never mind. There's no way for me to know. No way for me to know. All right, let's get into map two. We're headed to King's Row. Astro coming back out on the Winston. Interesting. Okay, so we're getting the, we're getting the honor break with it here for defense. Oh, I mean, this is you, you got good places to hide your honor break. Uh, so in which case it can be very powerful. Can you make use of those bio nades? Of course, the only problem with the honor is the vulnerability of the honor. So you lose the honor, and this whole composition just kind of falls apart. Where I typically see a lot, a lot more Lucio Curie are a lot harder to kill. And Astro has been forced to retreat back up to the high ground. Not ideal because it does leave Rinko a little bit more vulnerable. So Astro makes a point of forcing Painkiller back down low. A little bit of pressure here from Peace in the back, but Lin has fallen. Oh, and you can see immediately. Oh, is Excal actually picking up the treasure? Peace is on the Echo this time. Okay, excuse me. So a little bit of change of pace there. Saw Excal on the hit scan and piece on the tracer there on map one. As I was saying, once Lim went down, you saw Excal immediately change their mind and kind of back up for a regroup. But here we go. Attack is back on. Same approach. Can they get to the high ground? Can they hold this high ground? Good whip shot denies painkiller, any of that at the moment. Lin is way up top. Where are you going, Lin? That was. Ooh, dropping into the back will force out a recall. As Peace has picked up a pair of kills already. Kill from Lin on... Whoop! Did I double tap that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Peace. I missed your, I missed your two-piece there. Mega Melani, thank you for the follow. We had Jim the Lonely coming through with a follow as well. Thank you all so very much. 
no alerts on while we're in game, so you will not see it pop up here. But I do really, really appreciate it. Point picked up. Back of those opening picks and a uh, two piece from a piece. I really did not mean to pun that either time. I really, I swear. Len doing a good job of keeping Chime off on that flank angle right now. Excal's hiding and waiting for it. Excal's being a little sneaky sneak. Yep. Chime might find themselves baited here. Pulse bomb lands. Lin is the one who took the bait and eats the pulse. We all up front. Here we got a primal range from the defense. Uh, Astronex has already managed to batter down Hanbei. And... Yeah, the, uh... Turns out the Winston knows how to take down Anana. Like, wait a minute. We play with Anana all the time. I know I know how to kill you. All right. Four minutes on the clock entering point B here. It was essentially a one and done. Uh, technically, I guess a 1.5 and done. Pulse Bomb on the ground. Finds Haven. That's exactly what they needed. Back up on the front line. Peace has duplicated it on and will land that sleep dart onto Astro, who's just going to sleep off the nano boost that they had. This will eventually get d -Mac. What a smart duplicate. It is now sound barriers in. And another wave of assault can come through here from the attacking team Z. But with Painkiller out of mech, it could be tough. Graves had the, the rally going and still gets melted there from the focusing beam. Astro suffers a similar fate and pieces earn themselves a nano boost here from Painkiller. Except from Hompe. A dying wish to go finish the fight. And it looks like Peace and x -Cow will make good on that dying wish. Painkiller making a swap over to the queen. And as this cart rolls on through to the final corner. Bob available. That is about it. Grapes on over now to Elusio, coming off of the brig. So, Rinko is not going to have that backline protection like we saw before. It's going to be an early bob here from the defense. Astro's going to dive in on the back of that. Looks like a 1v2 on the outside. Grapes and Chime are able to win said 1v2. The rest of uh, Team Z now just backing away. Uh oh, Painkiller backs into bookstore. Can't quite take that head on if you're a Winston, but you do have friends. Ooh, that is a very low piece. Stuck in around the corner. Didn't have Chime here to follow up. Or probably wisely. Chime back watching this flank, I imagine, for Excal. Watching for a back cap. Not all that to happen. Is going to read this uh, rotation here from Team Z. But when you can see Astro. I think they had the support to the back. Regroups here. I think the primal region close. Well, yeah, that, that's usually pretty good. Lynn down low. Barely able to escape the primal. Astro... Unfortunately, didn't really have a whole lot of room to jump. That's the problem with doing a primal that close. Chime lands a pulse. Haven picks up a pair. Defense holds. A little Anapov here. Nano boost, the only ult um, here for this team piece. It does have a duplicate. Use the last duke onto an Ana uh, in their own right. Which, I mean, just the Bionate alone could be worth the duplicate there. Good dash from Excal out of the nade. Hearing that one come in. That could have been just ruthless. If they forced out the recall early, they would have ended up in that same corner. There's the Neto thrown in on into Astro. And Astro's just going to turn their attention. Ooh, on the piece. Got piece out of the air with the punch. And remember that Neto is cutting through the armor on that Diva as well. It does not stop. There's no damage mitigation here on the Winston. So... That Nano Winston hurts that much more onto the Diva. Eventually forced back out, though, as Lin falls through with that kill. And he's and the rest of Team Z come surging forward in a two-for-one trade. Rinko falls. Chime falls. This cart finally moving. It took him a little over four minutes. Or it was right. The clock was right at four minutes, I think. I'm trying to think if it was four minutes before that first fight or when they lost that first fight. Either way... A lot of time eaten off the bank here from Fluffy Amor's defense. A couple of DPS ults online as well as this Katsuni Rush is going to start things off. Big Omnic Butler thrown up and is enough to stall off the card as the sound barrier is thrown in. Time 
Pulse doesn't land. Still trying to put pressure down. It's Excal on the other side. That's the Tracer. I've been watching. Excal is able to find a pair. Painkiller comes up with one as well. Two points on the board here for Team Z as they clean up the back end of this fight. Okay, Excal and Peace making swaps as we get into point C. Move into the foundry. And we're essentially getting a mirror aside from the Diva Winston. Okay, it's gonna be Astro to pull the first aggressive trigger to jump into the back. See Painkiller trying to return the favor, but ends up having to just kind of take some high ground. Taking a lot of pressure. Astro's fine down here with that Primal Rage as Haven finds first blood here in the foundry. Astro gonna get pursued. Oh yeah, goes diving in. Takes about 600 damage and jumps right back out. That's right, X-Cal. We know y'all aren't quitters. 20 seconds on the clock. Pretty much need to be flawless from here on in, this Team Z. Aggressive move up top. We'll first couple recalls out of Chime. Back over to the high ground. It's certainly a rush out from both sides. It's going to be battle on the corner. And look at Pink Killers just trying to play a little bit of peel. The rest of the team surge forward to pick off the back line. An interesting approach. And the squishies all forward. Self-destruct. Ooh, it's just enough to get back in mech. Pulse Bomb is not going to land as well. A sound barrier should be the icing on the cake from the defensive fluffy aimers. As far as Team Z will get. Good swaps, good swaps from from Fluffy Amers. Uh, knowing, just kind of knowing when to swap to the Lucio, get into the, the start building up towards Sound Barrier, knowing they didn't need the Brig anymore, but kept Renko on that Ana for a bit longer before eventually going over to uh, to the Kiriko. Ready for battle. Uh, it made it just to use that Nano, uh, but it worked out really well, and it, it kept them on top as far as Ult Economy was concerned. Really good defense on point B. Um, I mean, it's really one and form, right? They're able to put a good hold on point B. You have a lot of time off the clock, particularly uh, up front. It took a while for Team Z to break through the archway. But Team Z now will know, uh, now know the mark. Now know their win con if they want to tie up the series. Come out with a, a little... A little Tracer, Ash, Brawl composition. If anybody's going to put a head out here for Chime. You see a third person point of view from Xcal just scouting this out. So they, they know Chime was sitting there with sights down. Nobody nobody caught off guard. Nobody caught unaware. Peace was in a precarious spot there in the corner, but had the blinks to get out as the defense rotates high ground. Haven's going all the way into the back line. Aggressive push in. I think really wanted Excal. In fact, yeah, Astro may get it. Has to turn around and respect the Ramatra. As Haven will pull back, throw some damage that direction as well. So they will not get that kill onto Excal. Astro's coming in for round number two, and Chime lands the stick. He picks up a pair. Not only Excal, but Hanbei as well. And that, that should be enough to get this point right there. Without the Baptiste, Painkiller will not have the staying power. Hoping for an exit pick, won't get it. So Chime picks up their third in this fight. got a kill on the chive uh which that's good news that that means that absolutely and especially with that kill there fluffy aimers won't be able to push forward and deny a bookstore hold so that a really good pick there from xcal to solidify this hold here and hope that they can do to fluffy aimers what fluffy aimers did to them here at this archway and that is just eat an absolute boatload of time off the clock 
Maven has found little aggressor on this far right hand side and a, a retreat coming through. Rotation back around to the high ground. Panko would love to drop back down and take Bookstore back, but they've lost Excal. And it'd be a exceptionally tough in a 4v5. Just hoping they aren't getting pursued. Painkiller finally drops back as the Nemesis form fades. We'll see if x can make it back into this fight. His Chime comes in over the top looking for blood. Got a lot of that 200 DPS focusing beam down onto Painkiller. But fortunately for Team Z, they're able to top off the tank. Sex gonna land. Chime had nobody to duplicate. A huge opener here for the defenses. They desperately need to... Pump the brakes on this, uh, on the momentum on this cart. Astro with the Nano Boost with the Primal Rage. It's going to push everybody off the high ground and out. Over that we're talking about the beautiful jungle on the Hyundai through the air. We'll find Excal as well. Oh my. Take notes. That is how you Primal. That was so rad. Now, an ambush set and waiting here between Haven and Chime. Haven put a lot of damage on the outside. There's the execution. Painkiller is gone. Duplicate down low on to Chime. Trying to devalue this amplification matrix. Has to respect. Gets the, the kill on to Excal. I'm excuse me, it was Haven who got that kill on to Excal. Is eventually cut down. And the aggression might get punished. The... Woo, that doesn't win. I saw what you were going for there. Thought you might be able to get Lin with it. And that kill might have solidified the map. But with a sound barrier in their pocket, Painkiller is able to push forward. Knowing that they, they have a little bit of a get out of jail free card if they need it. Does eat a bio nade from the opposite side. Big Armory Butler thrown in from Excal. Not seeing where that one landed. Ravenous Vortex did block the retreat of Chime. And my camera angle sucks. And that's right there. Sorry about that. Grapes swap on over to the brig. And his precious few meters are needed here for Fluffy Amers to move up to match point. Pangeller down that 50% threshold. Folks, if he was ready to go, Annihilation popped it. Mortality Field is out. Chime did not feel like they could stick around long enough to finish off Painkiller in that fight. Pulse is going to land. Great shield from Grapes. Able to get that up. I think they did a quick drop on that to make sure that they didn't go down. Astro had Nano Boost in the back and is able to get an opening pick. Previous Primal Rage was absolutely gorgeous. Was the bane of Excal. And this one will find him again as well. Turns the attention on to the Baptiste. And this is looking like history repeating itself. The Primal Rage picks up the exact same two players. We got an Ajax call down. I missed that one as well. I was too focused on Astro. This, uh, ooh, what did we get here? Oh, it's the double kill. Yeah, the double kill from the stickies to open up point A. Gorgeous. Spectacular performance. Fluffy Amers now on match point. Let's go give him said point. Boom. Update. Uh, we'll go ahead and swap them. I'm pretty sure they're they're swapping sides again here, heading into push. Let's take a look at this scoreboard before we get into map number three. Well, let's take a look at some stats. Yay, stats. Astro with a huge damage lead in that one. That's That's to me is the big head-to-head -head here. Uh, is Astro versus Painkiller. Uh, it were 5,000 more damage, three fewer deaths, and 11 more Elims. Uh, where it was, the Elims were quite the opposite. And, and the deaths were went the other way on map one as well. So, Astro with an outstanding performance on the Winston. Hey, wait, I swear I clicked the thing at the bottom. I didn't alt-tab that time. Why did, what? Okay, come on, come on. Let me, let me test this. What? See, it did it. It didn't do that last time. It didn't do that last time. Hey, I've got OC in here. Nice. I was another content creator. Fine. I can get my ugly mug since my scoreboard doesn't want to behave. We're going to stop you here for map number three. And Fluffy Amers.
one step closer to completing the revenge arc from the team that knocked him out of playoff contention in the final week of regular season back in season one. has since rebranded uh, on over to Team Z, but whoops, that's the wrong. That's the right button. But you can't help but feel that the chip on the shoulder still remains. Take a look at our newest map here in Overwatch 2. As most maps in the game is aesthetically just gorgeous. And honestly, I think my favorite push map so far. I really like this map. I mean, just, just a lot of options. Just it, It's a lot of fun to play. I mean, it's just a fun map to play. All right, Astro sticking with what worked so, so very well. They're in Kings. A reminder that was also, um, that was Team Z's map pick as well for Kings Run. Was there a Team Z get first ban? No, no, no. Team Z had first ban. That was, Team Z did get first ban. Excuse me. No, 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 no. That was Fluffy Aimer's map pick on Kings Run. So we're on Team Z's map pick here on Runasapi. as they move over to the, the Ramatra Ball once again. There's been a few, a couple of Ravenous Vortex that have just yanked Astro out of the sky. And it only takes one good one uh, to, to take Astro down and win a fight. Preventing an escape here, use the Nemesis form to try to punch through that armor. But doesn't work through Astro's health pool quick enough. They get some cooldowns back and are able to back out. Painkiller will go down there on that next assault. The heal's blocked. Good bubble from Astronex. As I tried to see if the poke damage was going to be enough to keep him at bay, but no, 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 no. Woo. Chime was down super low. Able to get out. First control going on over to Fluffy Amers. Ooh. Time at one. Runs away for the recall, and Talisman subbing in here for map number three. Finds a great opening pick on Dorinko. And that that is what Team Z needed here. Kind of cut the legs off this comp. Painkiller uh, off of the Ramatra on over to a D.Va. And then XCOM made a swap as well. So big changes working out here for Team Z in the second fight, and they're able to nab control. Astro is trying to hold the line, the the lead, it, that is, here for Fluffy Amers. He's going to bounce up top, goes into the back line, and immediately finds one on the way. Time will get cut down on the approach, but I think the damage is done at this point. Still, Astro is going to go ahead and pop this primal range just to make sure they can secure this victory. And that's enough. They'll get the DMAC. They will get control of TS1. And then Timothy is marching back in Fluffy Amers' favor. Okay, coming off of the Baptiste now uh, with the Ant Matrix used. Hanbei makes the swap to fit the rest of the composition. Talisman off of... Okay, so Excal goes over to the Tracer and Talisman pulls out the Echo. Another a dive in here from Astronex and ooh, a good bio need to couple with it means Painkiller has no heals, no way to recover. And a quick three kills light up the feed and this is going to be close spawns and checkpoint unlock for Fluffy Gamers. One for one trade on DPS. Maven uh, just getting greeted at the front door after making a swap. <laughs> well, was greeted at their front door. Let me, let me rephrase this. Like, wait a minute. No, Haven tried to go knock on their front door and hit a very unwelcoming mat. Both spawns are picked up. Astronex and the rest of Fluffy Aimers. Should be able to deny a whole lot of progress. Yeah, the bot is just now. We're back. My OBS just hard crashed. 
My OBS just absolutely hard crashed. I am so sorry. Uh, Fluffy Amber's got control. And uh, regained their close spawns. Let's see. All right, sound barrier advantage. Like they have the only ult online. It's time finds first blood here in this fight. Everyone's gonna follow this. Chime was trying to give chase. Come on, back in the middle. We got a little bit of a take duel going on. Uh, Pangler swapped over to the Winston there right before uh, we had the crash. Hanbe, the nice move, comes in to follow up, help out their tank. Get that pick on to Grapes. Does have a consuming rush, but ooh, they've lost Painkiller. Can they do this without their tank? And Astro priming in their face. Talk about uh, this player just has picturesque primals. But everybody staying elusive from Team Z during this fight. Very importantly, as they buy a lot of time here for Painkiller to return. Trying to keep the center neutral. Trying to keep Fluffy Amers from getting too far into their territory. It's going to be a Kitsune Rush engage here to start things off a little bit ahead of the opposition. And Killer's moving in, hoping to build up to the last of this Primal Rage. Unfortunately, they lose Excal on the approach. They find Rinko out of the back. Very important kill. And Astro disengages on the back of it. But, importantly, on the other side, they try to run away with the bot. Chime's still running away with the bot. So the forward advantage a little bit negated. As they're not able to get a whole lot of progress off of this fight win, at least not yet. Finally, Team Z get the bot moving. And they will get rid of close spots. And uh, close just greets Winko right as they come out of spawn. Because uh, rush used. Trying to give pursuit. Oh, the Salvair is down. Graves manages to get that out with very little health. Somehow dodges the Primal Rage. Painkiller determined was given pursuit on that one. Eventually gives up as the Primal Rage fades. And finds a kill onto Astro instead. Talisman picks up one as well. All not lost here for Team Z. 60 seconds to go. They've got control of the bot. They really could use some close spots. I think it's going to take one more fight to make it happen. See where everybody is say. Okay. So, very outside pressure. No! Lid goes off the side. Astro is able to get the, the boop on it. I think knocked him off the wall with the a little bit of displacement from the Winston jump. And that is enough to put Lin down. And might have just thrown a wrench into this entire plan. 20 seconds to go. Team Z cannot take a fight. Not until Lin gets back. That's going to come a little bit high in sound barrier here as the EMP comes out. Consuming rush over the point. Pulse bomb lands. Hobbit gets the final blow. Nice pounce from Painkiller and Talisman is able to converge onto Haven as well. Quick couple kills piling up here for Team Z in overtime. It's not a moment too soon. I, did they get this checkpoint? I think they got this checkpoint. We'll find out in a second. Oh, I don't think they... It doesn't look like... Judge them by the barricade. They're going to stop. Yep, the bot has to stop. Unfortunate turn is Astro. Is back here with a Primal Rage. Let's check this one out. Show me what you got, Astro. This one could be for the win. Not able to quite keep Lin juggled up in that corner to deny a Primal Rage during this fight. Now Painkiller is here to respond with one of their own. See if they can keep Team Z in this fight, in this map, in this series. Managed to find a kill on Chan, not Painkiller themselves, but Team Z as a whole. Now we're gonna get an ultimate fight here for the final fight of the map. Astro and Chime come in to deny uh, the touch here at the very end. Sound barrier is out from both of our squads. It's a continuing rush advantage. Duplicate used from Talisman to try to overcome that advantage, but they're taken out of that immediately. Painkiller is down. Grapes is able to get in the mix as well. This is going to do it. A celebratory pulse bomb as Astro shrugs it off.
Fluffy Amers shrug off their opposition and Team Z and close this one out in a clean 3-0. Finding revenge for that final match of regular season from Season 1. Fluffy Amers will move up to 5-1 here in the series, uh, in the season. Improving on their current third place positioning. You know, and really making good on what they what they promised, saying that they they really think. Oh, I might have cut away from that too soon. I heard that pulse. Uh, but making good on you know saying that they think they they can take number one, that they belong at the top of the heat here in NA Master. They certainly showed that here today. They they certainly looked damn good here today. Take a look at the scoreboard here from map number three. That, uh, that's, that's not the scoreboard from map number three. Fail. Apparently when OBS crashed, it broke. Once again, Astro, uh, considerably ahead of, well, not just Painkiller, but the entire rest of the lobby. My goodness. Astro next with... You know, about 4,000 damage on average, more than everybody else in the lobby. Painkiller was the only one. Painkiller and Haven were the only ones that were even close. My goodness. What a performance. Astro's got to get my player of the match. Uh, I mean, just a dominant force. Uh, you can see led, led the server and damage there in map two as well. Uh, a big reason they're able to take King's Row, coming and play and... Uh, playing Winston on King's Row and, and put up a hell of a time. It was awesome to see. It was awesome to see some good old King's Row. We haven't gotten to see nearly enough King's Row on this channel. That was a joy. This whole match was an absolute pleasure. Uh, big shout out to both of our teams. Uh, hope to get them both on stream here again soon. Uh, Fluffy, Fluffy Amers looking good. Looking real darn good. All right. I think that about wraps it up here for, for our Wednesday doubleheader. I want to give a big shout out to Flash Mob for uh, giving me some insight on both of our squads here today so I can better tell their stories to you friends. But yes, GG's all around. Uh, yo, no, thank you all, everybody, for being here. Appreciate all the follows. Appreciate everybody just, you know, here and supporting, showing the love, uh, old friends and new alike. It really it really means a lot to me, y'all. It really does. It really keeps me going here each and every day. Oh, I've got, these VODs are hitting my YouTube on a daily basis. I'm making sure to get one of these out every single day, including weekends. So, uh, you'll be sure and check that out. Follow the Twitter and all that stuff. But thank you so much for being here. That's going to do it for me tonight. That's all I got for you. Bye, friends. Have a good one.